So mom's gonna talk about this foundation that that she, that she's gonna put on her face, and it's gonna be awesome, right? Uh huh. Stay tuned to the video. Even though I'm not in the Uncle Peter. Right. <laughs> Tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. So from the title you know what this video is about. I am really excited to give you guys a review about these products that I have recently discovered. I am behind with the black opal trend but I caught on. I will say I am in love with their products. So I've heard about black opal for roughly about six months. I see that a lot of makeup artists are using their products. I am building my kit, so I was just looking for a good foundation. I was using Makeup Forever as well as Lancome, but I just felt like, I just felt like I couldn't make Makeup Forever and Lancome portable. Everywhere I would turn, I would always see Black Opal. Now one, I was not a big fan of foundation sticks before. Um, I felt like they were a hassle. I felt like they were a lot of work to blend. I kind of steered away from them. But now that I am getting more clientele, I did need something a little bit convenient for me. Don't get me wrong, I love my makeup forever and my Lancome, but it's just so difficult to travel with all of those bottles. So I wanted to do uh, a review and, and as well try the products on myself just so I can get a good feel of them, how they work, how they last. And so I went and purchased my first Black Opal Foundation Stick. I got the shade Hazelnut. It came packaged like this, and you get quite a bit in these foundation sticks. So I did my research just like I do everything else. I watched a ton of reviews on a product before I decide to go ahead and go with it. I tried it on myself, and then if I'm satisfied with it, I'll make my purchases. I think I tried this you know, almost a month, a month ago, and when I tried it on, I fell in love. I instantly felt like this was something I had to apply with the Beauty Blender, only because the brushes that I use would be a little bit difficult to blend the product in. So I did it in this video. I wanted to do a try on so you guys can see how I actually apply the foundation. I will say if you have extremely oily skin, you can use these, but you have to pair it with the product that you will see later in this video. This is a medium to full coverage, so if you are one of those young ladies that are looking for a really sheer foundation, this is not for you. Um, I like to build this to a full coverage foundation. Um, now, what I did like about this, you could use this foundation on all skin textures. Some people have really, really dry skin. Some people have really, really patchy skin. It just works for everything. It literally smooths everything out. I had a client not too long ago, and she just had really, really textured skin and every moisturizer that I would put on her, her skin would just soak it up. I was a little nervous, so I was like, let's see if the black opal works. I had to blend it a little bit with a brush only because of the textured skin, but literally two seconds into blending it into the skin, it was flawless. So I'm a huge fan of the black opal foundation sticks. I also picked up another product from black opal. I'm not really into setting powders. Um, I been on my Ben Nye, only because I've had that one for a while and I've never used it up completely. I'm not really big on setting powder. So um, while I was in Walmart shopping for the foundation stick, I noticed that there was a finishing powder. When you're shopping for these in uh, stores, it's not like Sephora or Ulta where you can actually swatch it. You have to kind of guesstimate. So I was dead on with the uh, black opal foundation sticks shade but with the finishing powder I actually purchased deep because I thought that would work for me but deep was actually my skin tone flawless this was only ten dollars I think my Ben Nye was close to 20 you get one ounce of this for ten dollars when I know my Ben Nye is much smaller and it's more expensive. This is one of the best setting powders I've seen in a long, long time. Everybody kind of raves about the Sasha setting powder. I haven't tried that one yet. I think that's only a product brand that you can find online, so if I didn't like it, 
I'd probably just be stuck with it. My black opal finishing powder is amazing. I love it. Both of these were actually $10. I highly recommend you guys trying these products out. Um, they're actually really, really good. So that's pretty much my review on everything. I did this flawless face with both products. So if you guys have any questions about the products, please list them in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you later.